Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi and here I like to talk about luxury makeup and it is the end of the month, which means that is time for a repurchase review. So if you're new to my channel, the repurchase review is where I go through the items that were featured on my channel this month and any updated thoughts, whether I would buy them again or not. So it's kind of like your favorites and fails. So let's go ahead and get started. We're working our way backwards. We're going to start off with the Pat McGrath blush duos and this one here is aphrodite and more and i think you know i i really love these so i would purchase these again let me show you that mix together as well and here are the two shades mixed i really think this is a beautiful color is this particular shade combination super unique no, it's not, but even saying that I don't have any um, super similar colors in my collection anyway, like there are subtle differences. Now, this one here, Venusian Sunrise, this one does have more differences. So you can see that the purple here is really more of a pinky purple, which I think works really well. It's not too blue, not too gray, which I think is going to work better on more complexions. Um, but overall, I love these. They're the same quality as the other Pat McGrath, the permanent blushes. I think they're fantastic. I would definitely buy them again. In addition, I picked up the Luna Allure highlighter from Pat McGrath. This is a favorite. I absolutely love this highlighter. Um, would definitely buy this again. I think it is stunning. And yeah, I'm very glad that I picked that up. It actually made it into my favorites for 2022 so far. It's that good. So it's just a really great color. The formula is very nice. You can build it up. You can go subtle or more intense. You know, it's just a really great product. So definitely really happy with those. And you can purchase a set. Like I purchased those as a set for a discounted price on the Pat McGrath website. But they're also available at Sephora, except for the Venusian Sunrise shade, which... I think that might be exclusive to her website. I haven't seen that available anywhere else. Next, we have the Chanel Waterfresh Complexion Touch. And I have to say, I do like this product. It didn't quite live up to my expectations of it, partly because of the shade range. I think that's really what the issue is for me, is the shade range. This is BR12. So B10 and BR12 are really the lightest, but all the shades run a little bit deeper than the shades, the same shades in like different formulas. So this is just a little bit deeper than I would like it to be. I wear BD01 and the Water Fresh um, tint, this light shade is just, it's a better shade match for me. This product though, the Complexion Touch product, I really do like the product. And I have found that the BR12 shade works really well for me as a concealer. So, you know, I'm kind of going over parts of that with foundation anyway, so I can kind of disguise the not quite perfect match um, with that. It is kind of pricey for what you get, but you get three times the amount of pigment. I feel like you have to use less product than the Water Fresh tint. Overall, I would I would buy this again, provided they had a different color match, but I will definitely, if I had a color match in it, I would buy it again. For me personally, I will use this up, but I won't repurchase unless they expand the shade range. As for the Water Fresh blush that came out, I picked up the Intense Coral shade. And let me just go ahead and put that on here. And I, I just, I don't like these. <laughs> so I would not purchase this again. I think it's gimmicky to have to break the pigments here and then you still have to be kind of targeted with your blush. It's one thing with the Complexion Touch and the tint because I can even break them on my face or you know I'm used to kind of dabbing it on my skin and so forth first or my hand and then just putting little bits on my face I feel like it's easier to use whereas the blush I feel like is just a little bit more finicky because if you've got one of those pigment bubbles that does not pop on your hand uh, you really have to kind of rub them all out or you're going to end up with like a smear or something in your cheek that's just kind of noticeable so overall i just don't love them so i would not buy the water fresh blushes i also think for the price they're pretty expensive i would rather pay that price for something that does not require an extra step of work for me 
Next, we have the Victoria Beckham Highlight Stick. This is the Reflect Stick in shade Pearl. I'm assuming they will have more shades out since it does have a shade name. I just swiped it right here. And this, you know, it's a nice shade. Um, let me just show you this with the Westman Atelier Lit Up Sticks. So I do have a video comparing the Westman Atelier stick with some other highlighting sticks, but I kind of forgot about the Westman Atelier ones. So I wanted to include them here. This one here is Nectar. You can see it's gonna be pretty light. It's peachy, it's a little bit more sheer. This is really gonna give you more of a shine to your face instead of more of, like you can see this is just more intense, the Victoria Beckham, even with a sheer layer, whereas this gives you more of that peachy wet look. And then we also have Lit, which is the original. And let's put that right here. You can see this has more of that iridescent pink blue shine to it. So formula wise though, on the skin, they feel pretty similar to each other. Um, you know, they're both, they're, they're all kind of this like balmy texture that doesn't completely dry down. So if you're using only a little bit, you know, that's fine. If you're trying to pile it on for me, I find it to be a little, a little sticky, like that's not my preference. Um, but overall, I think this is a nice highlighting stick if you like that type of formula. However, if you're looking for something to truly set down and, you know, not be able to feel it on your skin, this isn't going to be it. Would I repurchase this? Considering I have some other shades that are very similar, I would not repurchase this, but I do think it is a nice product. Next, we have this, say, Hydro Beam Concealer. I have shade one, and I love this concealer. This is a fantastic brightening concealer. And what I mean by that is it's going to add light reflection under your eyes, which will help disguise circles and so forth. But if you have really dark circles or something that need coverage, this is not gonna do that. However, you can layer this on top of another concealer to get that light reflection. Really, it's just brightening and reflecting light. Uh, it gives it a really nice, light, natural finish. It does not look makeup-y. There's no creasing or anything. Uh, so I just, I find it a really great addition, whether you're pairing it with another concealer or using it on its own. I really like it. By the way, Say is having their friends and family sale right now. So it's like 20% off site wide at the moment. So definitely check it out if you're interested in it. I also took a look at a couple of Artiste brushes and I just say, I do really like these. So this one here you can, is nice for foundation. Um, but it's not going to work with every formula. If you have a very thin formula that spreads easily, this is probably not the best because it's going to shear it out too much. But if you have a thicker cream foundation and you want to shear it out, uh, this would be a great brush for that. It's incredibly soft on the face. And then the other one I have is actually a skincare brush, but I find it really comfortable and soft to use for skincare or makeup. So also nice to put on sunscreen with, um, but I typically don't do that. I feel like it just leaves too much of a coating on the bristles. But if you are somebody who enjoys using a brush for sunscreen, I think they are a nice choice for that. And by the way, the brushes were gifted to me, but I would purchase those on my own. I was actually looking at purchasing some of their brushes when they reached out. So it is something I would pick up. I'm interested in trying their eye brushes at some point as well. Next up, I picked up the YSL Lip and Cheek Balmy Tint in shade New Chills. This is a berry shade and it's a really nice uh, cream blush here. So it's... You know, this is kind of more like what I was expecting the, the Lisa Eldridge blushes to be like originally, actually. So, um, but you can see that it blends out easily. It doesn't like, you know, you don't have like globs of pigment that get stuck as you're blending it out. It's very smooth, creamy, it's lightweight. It's more of a gel balm texture. So it's not sticky. If you're gonna pile in a ton of it, you might find that it doesn't fully set. But if you're using like the average amount, like this amount um, and then just dabbed on, I, I would say, you know, you're not gonna feel it on your skin then. It, it will, the majority of it will sink into your skin. So I, I find it to be a really nice cheek tint. I hope they do expand the shade range. There are three shades right now, but I think they are really good choices. So I would purchase that again and I might pick up another one in the future. So we'll see, I've got a ton of cream blushes. So try not to go crazy here. <laughs> And then we have the Westman Atelier.
This is the Vital Press skincare powder. This one here is the shade Creme. And then I also have Pink Bubble. So here's Creme. And you can see that these come in a heavy duty metal compact. You have kind of this white rim here. Pink Bubble is going to be more brightening. And I really like both colors. I really love this powder. This is definitely, I mean, this powder made it to my 2022 favorites so far. It's fantastic. This powder, it just doesn't look like powder on your skin. It's really beautiful. It's blurring. You don't need a lot. If you're using a lot or you're, you're putting it on like heavily, um, you know, it's probably not going to look that great. Less is definitely more with this. And you could use like a more dense brush, but I actually think it looks best with something of a little bit fluffy, not the fluffiest areas brush you have, but something on the fluffier range for it. So I like to use it with certain like blush brushes and things like that. Like something like this Refer 05 would be good with it. You know, that type of, so you can see this one I use for blush today, but you can see how fluffy it is. And yeah, so that's what I would recommend with that. I would definitely purchase these again. I may pick up another one in the future. I wanna use these a bit more. And then we have the LH Cosmetics Daybreak Palette. This is Linda Hallberg's brand. Oops. And you know, it's an unassuming palette when you look at it like this, but it's really beautiful. It does have some similarities to the Tiny Marvels palette from Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson. But, you know, I would pick this up again anyway. I think the color combinations that they have in here are great. This shade Haze and this shade Dew are just two of my favorites. You know, I just find them to be very versatile, very stunning. This, you know, is the one that's similar to um, the Tiny Marvels palette. You know, I have side-by-side -side comparison of that in the video with this, so definitely check that out if you're interested. But you can see here that Dew is kind of this like pinky bluish purple kind of shade, but it's very, very soft. And you can definitely, if you put a darker base underneath it, you can amp that up. But this palette's just incredibly versatile. You've got all these like neutral shades. You can create a gorgeous neutral look. The mattes perform beautifully as well as the shimmers and the multi-chromes. And yeah, I just think it's really fantastic. So definitely check it out. It's on sale on her website right now, but I, it should be ending any time now because I thought it was going to end a couple days ago. They must have extended it. Next, we have lip products from London Town. I have to say this London Town lip balm, I really like. This is like a go-to everyday lip balm for me. Like, you know, I always put lip balm on when I wake up in the morning. This is a great one for that. Really, en really enjoying that. And then the London Town lip glosses, they have four shades. These are a really nice basic lip gloss and they're at a good price. So I would pick these up again. I think they're nice. They've got a nice shade range. There are only four shades, but they are reminiscent of the 90s to me, which I really, <laughs> I like that. So uh, I would pick, I would pick up all of these items again. I bought a bunch of stuff from Cure Weiss this month and they're not all new items, but they were new to me. I tried their lip glosses, really like them. I would buy those again. Uh, the lip, or not the lip, the <laughs> cream cheek cream blushes. I would buy these again. I I actually already had one, loved the color I had blossoming. So I picked up more of these and I've been wearing these like all the time. I also picked up one of the cream highlighters in Radiance. I really like that one. Um, you know, I wouldn't say it's the best cream highlighter, but it's one that I would repurchase because I really like the color and the formula. The big thing that I picked up is the new uh, beautiful tint. So this I have in shade F1. It's a little deep though. So if you are lighter than me, you're really not gonna have a shade match. So I think it's a little deep. It's a little bit warmer than I would like as well, but I love the way the product looks on the skin. The only drawback is the fragrance. So I can just, I can smell it after, like it's not one that fades as soon as you put it on. I can still smell it later. It's not a bad smell or anything. I just don't really like being able to smell my makeup. So uh, would I purchase this again? I probably would though. Um, I, I really like it. 
So I like the way it looks. I can get past the smell, but if you are somebody who's very sensitive to, to scents, definitely think about that before purchasing it or see if you can smell it in person. It's a, it's a natural scent. You know, these, this is an organic line and they use like natural clean beauty ingredients, all that kind of thing. But, um, and this product itself on the skin, it's a really great tint. I actually say it's more of a light foundation than a tint. It has a little bit more coverage than your typical tint and it's gorgeous. I also picked up a refill for the I'm Possible mascara from Cure Weiss and yeah, I'd buy that again. So really like that. Next up from Bobbi Brown. Uh, this is another favorite highlighter of mine. This is Quartz Glow. This is one of the new shades that has come out. Let's see here. Where did I put the pack? Graph. Oh, I put it down here. Um, let's see here. Squeeze it here. So that's Quartz Glow. You can see it's a little bit more golden. It has a beautiful finish. It's shimmery without looking like glittery or anything. It has a lot of light reflection. It's a champagne gold shade. Really love it though. I love how you can make it subtle, you can build it up, but even when you make it subtle, it's not super subtle. You can still see that sheen. I also picked up a bunch of the Bobbi Brown shadow sticks. So these have been reformulated. They added a new metallic finish to them and they have new shades. And I have to say, I really, really love these. These are one of my favorite shadow sticks. So I would definitely pick these up again. This shade here, Smoky Topaz, and you can see it's like brown with a touch of plum. Really gorgeous. The Chanel nail polishes. I really like Chanel nail polishes because they perform really well. They last a long time without chipping. I picked up these three of the limited edition ones and I do really like these colors. I have to say these were a little bit more sheer than I expected, but not in a bad way. They're very summery. Overall, I would pick up all three of these again. I think they are really nice shades, classic pastels. And then I also picked up the Laura Mercier uh, Peach Shimmer. This is one of the new Rose Glow blushes which is supposed to work on, you know, any skin tone, um, not depth of skin, but um, what's it called? Like a cool, warm, neutral. And this here is Peach Shimmer. I think it's a really nice shade. I don't really think it's something that adapts to your skin. Like I do not notice any of that, but I think it's a really beautiful formula and a beautiful shade. I'd pick it up again and I might pick up their um, mauve shade that's in this collection as well. So I do really like that. In addition, I also picked up the Ray Morris Invisible Mattifier. I think this is a really cool product. It's really more of a gel, um, but if, like you can't even feel it. You touch it, you feel it while you're touching it, and then you can't feel anything. It's basically like pure silicone, like adding a silicone finish to your skin. I think it's a cool product, but I would not purchase it again. There are products that do similar things that I prefer, like the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm, which uses Upsolite. That's the, the main ingredient there, that, the star ingredient. I think that's just a little bit better. Um, so it's nice, but I won't get it again. And then last up, I purchased more of the Dries Van Noten lipsticks and uh, full-size fragrances. I absolutely love these. They are definitely a repurchase. As you can see, I'm starting a collection here and I can't wait to pick up more. So these are fantastic. Now each month I also like to do a top five. My top five this month was actually really easy. Usually it's a little bit hard to limit it to five things or to see what really stands out. This month, it really wasn't. I would go with the Pat McGrath Blush Duos. Absolutely love them. Um, the Westman Atelier Powder. In, I like both creme and pink bubble. If I had to pick, I'd go with pink bubble. Uh, the Say Concealer, the Say Hydra Beam, the Bobbi Brown Eye Crayons, and the Dries Van Noten or DVN Lipsticks. So those would be my top five for this month. And I have to say, I'm really happy with all of those. So definitely have some big videos coming soon. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that and hit the notification bell. And I can't wait to see you very soon. Let me know what you've been using this month, what you've loved, what you've disliked. And please share that down below in the comments. It's really helpful for everybody to see what everybody loves. I think, you know, having more opinions is always helpful when deciding what to purchase. So thanks so much for tuning in and I hope to see you again very soon. Have a great day.